Hello everybody. Uh, welcome to another modeling Superman tutorial. This one, this will be the finished product that you all will be getting. That's yes, cape, hair. So without any further ado, I'll show you how to get that. Okay, so um, when we left off, we just did the head, and I um, I went ahead and colored the eyebrows and eyes. Uh, what you can do to do that is the eyebrows will be like this big. So just select those vertices and delete them, and then uh, assign a black texture to them. And with the eyes, there will be like an outer eye layer. Just select that layer and delete it. And select these vertices. Make sure you make a face in here and delete that. And the reason I'm telling you this is because I actually did I, I did already do this tutorial, but the thing is I forgot to record the sound, so uh, yeah. Sorry about that. Um, so, so it'll be a test to see how well you can do it by yourself. Yeah, think of it like that. So uh, now we're gonna do the head. I mean, not the head, the hair. So, what you might want to do hit Z is select what you have selected. Select exactly half of the face. Hit X faces. And add a mirror modifier so that then add a subdivision service modifier so it looks smooth and stuff. So now everything that we do on one side will happen on the other side and it will look awesome. So, uh, let's do the head. So, what we're going to do is just start selecting vertices. Uh, best way to do that is hit C, just click and drag, drag all over his head. To get out of the selection mode, just right click. In case you accidentally selected something that you didn't want to. Oh yeah. Let me know what you guys think of my uh, time lapses. If you want me to keep doing them, or you're like you're on the side of nah, I just want to know exactly how to model stuff step by step. And that's okay if you do. Um, I probably won't really stop doing them because I I like I enjoy doing them myself, but uh, I'll certainly do uh, less of them if you want. If you just strictly want step-by-step -step tutorials okay so alright so you have the head selected hit shift D right click E right click make sure proportional editing is turned off so hit O and hit alt S boom okay so we got something going on here now hit control L Go to the materials tab. I already have this uh, material made, but uh, just click this little plus button here. Click assign, click new, and change the color to black by doing this. So, yeah, but uh, I'm going to get rid of that because I already have one. So, hit assign, and bam. Yeah, it's black hair now. So now let's go over here. Oh wait, we're gonna have to disable the mirror modifier for the little curve on his head that we that he has. But we can do other things. Ooh, look, we have to disable the mirror modifier a lot quicker. Well, uh, stick with this for now. We won't we won't stay that way. We'll. Uh, Modify when we get rid of the mirror modifier. I don't want to do that right now though. So right now we're going to work on the cape. So select these three here. Let's see. Select all those. I click to deselect some of them. Okay, um, hit Shift D, right click, 
E, right click, Alt S. Right, hit three, control L, rotate it just so it looks turns like into the blue part so it looks like it's like you know really in there. Okay, that looks cool. I already have a red texture in here, just create it the same way you created the black one. Hit a sign. So we have the red part of the we have that first part of the cape made. Now oh my god. I'm sorry, I forgot to turn on the screencast keys again. I apologize. Uh, but now they're on, so it should be easier to follow me. I keep forgetting to do that. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, but yeah, so control, click, wait, control, click, 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 whoops, click. Okay, so now we can scan it up, move it up, same thing with these. So cool. Now we have his cape. So make sure you save this. And now we're going to control L, P, selection. That just separates the cape so we can have it as a separate object. Alright. So now we can apply the mirror modifier and finish the hair. So. Let's do this. Control B, bevel, turn on connected proportional editing, E to, oops, e to extrude, S to scale. Uh, la, 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 la. All right, there. Let's add some variation to that. <sighs> and move this in. All right, cool. Now to add the curly curl. E. Right click. Rotate. E. Scale. Rotate. Grab. E. Scale, rotate, grab, rotate again, E, grab, rotate. All right. And there you have the finished modeling product of Superman. Everything's modeled. Next, we have to do sculpting. Uh, well, but first, I want to fix up some of these. Proportions real quickly. I showed someone this model recently, and they said uh, the muscle, the shoulder muscles, kind of looked improportionate. So I just change the uh, disproportionate. I think that's the word. <coughs> okay, that's better. All right. So. Uh, Next tutorial will be sculpting in the muscle. 
Um, so thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next tutorial.